Alex's attendance and um, product availability at, at those events as time gets closer. Uh, from a competition standpoint, uh, there's a few options uh, there as well. I think I think this year it's it's kind of uh, uh, coming back a little bit uh, the contest. So so we'll see what what we're able to attend. But it would be awesome to uh, definitely do a couple more uh, freestyle competitions. I know you might not have figured out if you're going to go or not yet, but I'm sure you've seen uh, this new competition. I think it's called King of Freestyle. That is, uh, I think it's happening later this year in Washington. Um, one of the things that I thought was pretty quite interesting is uh, it looks a bit of a departure from the typical IMAC type freestyle rules. So it's not like a what you would say in a in a tuxedo robotics without freestyle. Uh, it looks like it's much more focused on um, how how much of a show you're putting uh, to the audience. Uh, so I'm curious to hear your thoughts about that and also about the night uh, round. I think it's the first time I see a competition, freestyle competition, with a night round. Uh, and I know that you've done a lot of like demo flying at night. So I'm kind of curious how what, what your thoughts are about about that type of uh, yeah, that, that, that type of change. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you know the the night flying is uh, you know really popular. It's something really cool. I'm. I'm not sure exactly how they're going to do it. If you know they're going to do, uh, uh, you know, floodlight type flying or have lights on the airplanes. I'm not sure what the the rules are for that, but <clears throat> that'll be interesting to see how they go about that. Um, and you know, from from the contest it, as a whole, I, I don't know a lot of information about it. Uh, in all honesty, uh, you know, as far as you know, what the criteria is, how it's going to be judged. Um, I'm really not sure about that. Um, but, but yeah, clearly it's definitely, uh, focused towards, uh, entertainment and, uh, and the show of the flight. Uh, so, uh, no doubt that there'll be some, uh, fantastic flying and, and, uh, good coverage that comes out of it. Um, but yeah, just, just looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, some, some more info about it and, uh, you know, exactly, uh, what the goal is for the contest and what they're looking for and uh but yeah you know it's uh like i said i think you know from a from a pilot's list it looks like they're they're going to be able to bring in uh uh you know a lot of talent a lot of skill so no doubt it's going to be a good show yeah i agree it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty fun I'm, I'm very curious about the night flight especially because i imagine that most people would have to or would want to um, have a separate routine for night just because a lot of the maneuvers that you might do in a typical freestyle will not present very well at night. Like if you you might not want to take the plane that far uh, or that high uh, or things just don't look the same. Uh, so it's definitely going to be interesting how, how people tackle that uh, once the time comes. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you know, I think, you know, kind of along those lines a lot of it has to do with you know how they do it with the you know the the lights on the airplanes or the light towers uh you know obviously with the light towers you're you got some uh constrictions as far as you know flying area goes and and like you said even with the lights on the airplane uh when you're flying further away or up higher it doesn't really percent present as well um and from a from a uh uh, preparation standpoint for this one um it'll be interesting to see if they you know have a set criteria or, or not so that'll determine you know how you prepare whether or not you put a routine together or not you know i read in the rules that you get bonus points for touching the ground so i'm not really sure how you how you would practice that <laughs> It's cool that they are trying to do something different. Like I, I, don't know, I don't know how good or not so good some of those changes will be, but it's cool to see somebody trying something different. Uh, For sure, yeah, and and I think entertainment there'll be be no lack thereof. So um, it'll be definitely uh, exciting. 